Namaskar. Welcome to Dallas Mirror on Desi Plaza TV. I'm your host Karishma Himmat Singhani. In Dallas Mirror series, each time we will be focusing on a personality or a champion from a very vibrant Indian American community here in Dallas Fort Worth. These personalities could be from various fields and walks of life, but they all must have a common quality in them. And that would be that they have made their community proud through their work and commitment and given a great representation to the community in our great city of Dallas. Today we have one such personality of the community with us here in the studio of Desi Plaza who with his vision and commitment, ser committed service for the Hindu community in Dallas has made a community proud. Sri Gorji is an active Indian American community leader who is a civil engineer by a training. He was born in a traditional Hindu family in India and grew up in an environment with deeply rooted Hindu values. He came to United States in the year of 1979 and is the successful business owner of Gaur Insure, an independent insurance brokerage, and Inaltec, a small IT company. His personal belief is that God expects us to help each other. If we don't go to the temple, that's okay, as long as we help a needy person. And based on this belief, he has served in many nonprofit organizations with one sole purpose of service, or Seva. Namaste Gorji. Namaskar Karishma Ji. Welcome and thank you so much for giving us your precious time. I'm so glad to be here with you. So Gorji, um, please tell us, um, as we know that you came to US in 1979, how has been the journey, you know? Well, uh, I, I came here uh, on a training in 79 and uh, I heard before I came here, I heard when I was in high school, the America <coughs> is a country where nobody locks their doors, they mm -hmm. leave their stuff outside. So I was so eager to come and see what the country looked like. I did see some of that here, but I found a different country when I came. Mm -hmm. Anyway, but it was a lot of ups and downs, but I'm so glad that I'm here. I'm very mm -hmm. proud to be here and part of the community here, Indian community, and, and, and trying to work with and other Americans and Indians here, and I'm so glad to be here. So you started your journey as a civil engineer. Yes. And now you're doing something totally different, isn't well, that? The, the, the reason when I came here in this country, the country was going through a very bad oil crisis. Mm -hmm. There were no building, there were no construction, so mm -hmm. I couldn't get a job. Uh -huh. So I started a different uh, uh, career. Uh, I started working in a Montessori school, then I started my own Montessori school. So I had a couple of schools back in San Antonio, then I moved to Austin, mm -hmm. and then I got into also insurance. Okay. Because that was something I thought I could do very well. Mm -hmm. And then, then I continued because uh, in those days there were no jobs for a civil engineer. Mm -hmm. So. That was the reason. I can easily say by looking at the success of your career so far in this country, like it, having no job as a civil engineer was a blessing in disguise. Well, <laughs> you know, this is a place of opportunity. If, if people want to work, uh, the mm -hmm. only thing I learned, the way my, my first lesson I learned mm -hmm. in American Embassy, uh, American counselor told me before I came here, mm -hmm. that in this country, everything has a criteria. If you meet the criteria, nobody can stop you. Mm -hmm. So if you meet the qualification of, of whatever you want to do, you should be the one, okay, hey, I'm going to do it, and you can do that. Wow. So I found that to be very, very practical, yes. But how many people, I think that's the credit to you, sir, that how many people take that in like a real spirit and then they, you know, follow it with their own, you know, hard work and uh, perseverance, we can say, that, and, you know, achieve whatever they have come here for, and sometimes more they had ever dreamt of? Well, I, I see that, you know, uh, in Hinduism also, <coughs> we have a lesson that only we write our own karma. We, own, we, write, we are the one who mm -hmm. write our own future. Correct. So as long as we believe in what we are doing and as long as we are, our intentions are honest and, and clear, I think we can achieve anything we want. 
I absolutely, that. absolutely. Sir, so, um, as in my introduction also, I said that you strongly believe in Seva service. And uh, you yourself has been, you have been part of many prestigious organizations like Lions Club, um, SEVA, you were uh, president of the SEVA DFW. Um, then also now Brahman Samaj, you were associated with Upasna, all big organization and Sri Ram Mandir. So um, tell us uh, what inspired you and how was the experience so far? Well, my, my journey started at my home. My father is my real inspiration. Mm -hmm. <coughs> he was a teacher mm -hmm. and when I was growing up when I was six, seven years old, I used to see eight, ten kids in the morning before they went to school. My father would teach them, he would wow. coach them, mm -hmm. never charge a penny. He was also a Ayurvedic doctor besides the teacher. Mm -hmm. And every three, four months we used to have big karhai in our home and used to make chaman prats and he used to give medicine to people and teach them. Mm -hmm. Never charge a single penny. Wow. So I grew up in that environment, and mm -hmm. then he, there was this uh, Kirtan Mandali that he used to mm -hmm. do there. So my ins real inspiration is him. Mm -hmm. He is the one who taught me mm -hmm. to do the right thing, mm -hmm. don't ever. And, and, and all these things are, are, we didn't create any of these things. Absolutely. So we shouldn't be charging. So his, mm -hmm. his goal was to go back to India mm -hmm. after retirement and start a Ayurvedic clinic, free for the people to, to help True. them out. But he mm -hmm. couldn't do that because he died in 84. Mm -hmm. But my real inspiration is my father that I learned from, and I want to continue that. That's awesome. And how has been the experience working in Dallas Fort Worth <laughs> with different organizations? Kuch khatta, kuch meetha. Well, yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. some, you know, uh, when you work in, in, this, in the community and, mm. and social field, uh, everything is not the way you want. You know, mm -hmm. everything doesn't work out the way. So sometimes you have to work with people. Correct. People have different uh, ideas, they have different opinions, they have, but you have to work with them. You have to find ways to work with them. Mm -hmm. But I found a lot of people are interested in doing a lot of good things. You just have to work with them. They have to believe in you. And I said before, your intentions have to be very clear mm -hmm. because they should not just hear you, they should see that there's no difference between what you say and what you do. Mm -hmm. Once they see that, you'll have a lot of support. Mm -hmm. And I, had, I am very... Uh, fortunate to have the support in the community, mm -hmm. that they believe me. I never have, a, ever have to ask anything from people. They always come and offer me, and I'm mm -hmm. so lucky. I'm so mm -hmm. blessed. You have, um, <coughs> I personally know this, you have worked with uh, uh, Bhutani refugees here um, when you were with Seva, and even till today uh, in your capacity. Um, what what is seva for you how do you see um working say i mean i'm sure it was a humbling experience working with bhutani refugees how tell us more about your experience my, in my the belief seva is, this is what i believe in i, I think uh, uh, <coughs> i do a lot of research and mm -hmm. in, in my my perception and my belief is that god has created us not to build temples and not to build other things he has created us to help each other. Mm -hmm. We are hel you're here to do his or whatever the God is, is the gender, whether it's a la uh, male or a female, whatever you believe in, we are all here to help each other. Mm -hmm. That's the primary thing, karma. Karma is the main thing in Hinduism mm -hmm. that says. So we have to do that. We have to help each other, make sure that everybody is, is, is in the needy people. There are, pe there, there are and on your way you will meet some people who mm -hmm. are not, they pretend to be needy, but they're not needy. But that's fine, you know. Even if, if you that's do something, part and that's parcel part of the game. Yeah, yes. Thing. So uh, my my core belief is that we are here to help each other, mm -hmm. and we all can do things together if mm -hmm. we are together. So that's 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 what I believe in. So that's what I feel, and that's what I do it. Mm -hmm. So. Um, after working with so many organizations, you know, on different boards, as presidents, as founder members, now you've started your own organization, Sanatan yes. Karma and Dharma. Right. Tell us more about that. Well, <coughs> I, I noticed over the year that a lot of, there are a lot of confusion about Hinduism. Mm -hmm. And most more confusion within Hindu community, not just outsiders. Outsiders do misinterpret, they do uh, think that, that that helps them, but we ourselves don't understand. So I got this into, uh, uh, I started this in 2012, but then I put that on the shelf because I got into, you know, on Seva, and then I wanted to do Seva first, and then, 
Now I had a chance to go back and do this. My goal is to three point goal. The first thing is, is to look into the Vedic values mm -hmm. of Hinduism. Mm -hmm. and give the, you know that Hinduism is a very organized religion. It's a very scientific religion. Mm -hmm. Everything that we do, everything that we have is very scientific. All our rishis and munis, they were all either scientific, they're scientists, they were philosophers, they were all well... Researchers. Researchers, yes, yes. that's what they were. Yes. They were not just people with beards and, and, and long hair. Yeah, no, they, they, they were, were, they were in the woods living so there. So yeah. our knowledge that we have mm -hmm. in our Vedas and Quran is, is based on scientific mm -hmm. research. Everything has scientific. Yes. So my goal is to explain that to the youth especially of today. I, uh, during these years, I have, I have met a lot of people who, who came up to me and they said they don't understand what's going on. I mean, there's a lady who came to me one time that when she went to pick up his son, her son, her son said, Ma'am, don't come pick me up. They used to mm -hmm. live close to the school. Uh, he used to walk in those days. There were not that many Indians here. So he said, why you want, don't want me to come? She said, no, just don't come pick me up. So in the evening, when they all got together, her, his father, mother, and they asked him, okay, what happened? So she was a, a typical South Indian lady, used to wear saris and tikka and be, all those things, and, mm -hmm. and uh, there were not that many Indian in the school. Mm -hmm. So the kids' friends used to make fun of him. Okay, oh. how does he, so he, so he couldn't explain his mom's, the way he conducts, the way he... So the best thing is, hey, mom, don't come pick me up, so I don't have to worry about my friends. I don't have to be mm -hmm. subjected to all those mm -hmm. things. I met so many people who, when they came here, they have no place to continue their values, to continue the identity that they, they got merged with other things. And the kids have no idea. True. They True. have no idea. Yeah. So my goal is to, is to three-point goal under this SKD that we have, it's not the firm term. The first is, is to preserve our values. Mm -hmm. And we can preserve by practicing, okay? And not just practicing traditional way. No, understand why we do that. Why do we, why do we go and, and, and do 108 times of Hanuman Chalisa or, 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 or do things? Everything of, uh, every reason, they have a reason, a scientific reason why we do all those things. So we can explain those things to the youth. The second thing is, is to protect there are a lot of people here who are misinterpreting Hindu. They, they say Hinduism has so many gods. They have casteism. All those things are not true. Mm -hmm. They're not true. But people don't know those things. Mm -hmm. So we had to protect Hinduism from misinterpretation, misinformation, and, and people who are taking advantage of those things. And then promotion of Hinduism. So we also should promote Hinduism. Let people know what exactly Hinduism is. Mm -hmm. And if they want to become Hindu, we welcome them. Mm -hmm. So those three goals that we are working through. Yeah, I mean, um, uh, not it, this generation of uh, immigrants or the Indians uh, in in America, probably they cannot imagine uh, what the first few generations had to go through because when they came, right. not many Indians were there, and right. they had to, as you just now said, that they had to face all this uh, yes. dilemmas, and then they had no choice but to get blended with the whatever exactly. America had to offer. Right. And today's scenario is different. So do you think that uh, what you were thinking in what was your experience in like few decades ago, mm -hmm. um, this particular, uh, uh, you know, the fundamental that you have taken to build on uh, this uh, Sanatan Karma Dharma, uh, you think it will be still be relevant to this present generation that is coming in Dallas, uh, Fort Worth. Oh yes, I, I think um, it is very relevant. We, um, we Gorgi, I will, sorry I'm interrupting you here. It's our time to take a small break and when we come back, we will definitely get sure. the answer of this question. Sure, no problem, that'd be great, thank you.